Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm James. And I'm Kelly. And we are currently in Chengdu, Sichuan. We are spending the next three days here, trying some amazing local food, going and seeing the pandas, and taking a trip out to go see the Lasham Buddha. If you want to see all three videos of our time here in Chengdu, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And now, let's go see Chengdu. from Chengdu. We are now waiting for our DD to take us to the Chengdu Breeding Research Center for pandas. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh -oh. So for our trip to Chengdu, uh, neither of us knew if we wanted to actually come to the giant panda research base because I personally don't like seeing animals in captivities and I've never been a fan of the zoo. But through our research, it does seem that the giant panda research base is actually trying to help the pandas. If you didn't know, the giant panda is the national animal of China. And here in Chengdu, they have a research and breeding facility specifically for the giant panda to make sure their population stays above endangered. We made it inside the park and now I think we just walk around. I don't know what we do. Let's go find a panda. <laughs> so we are inside the park and this place is huge we're not really sure where we're supposed to be going where to see the pandas like it says this is made to look like their natural habitat so are they just like wandering or are they in a closed space not really sure where to go we're just gonna walk We found our first panda. He's eating. <laughs> That's all they do, though. <laughs> Within the park, they have these enclosed places, which when it gets really hot, the pandas will go and um, I guess play and eat as well and cool down because they don't like the hot weather and we just walked up and there's a panda chilling on the windowsill with just food all around him he's just chilling eating up it's so, it's so adorable we're coming up to our third panda now this panda's name is Ying Ying oh born in 2008 this one's also inside another in, uh, inside enclosure so and it's also right next to the window we definitely purposely place the food oh, right from oh, the window. Yeah, they definitely do <laughs> just purposely place their food there. As he's eating, he's collecting leaves one by one in his mouth until he gets a big clump of them. And then he'll take them out with his paw and just eat them, just munching on them. As you walk through the park, you are surrounded by bamboo and like a forest feel, kind of like you are in nature. And lucky for us, there are not a lot of people right now. We did come on a Thursday. Thursday. So we just walked up to the Red Panda encounter and unfortunately a guy asked and the guard told them there are no Red Pandas today. They are getting their vaccines and so we can't see them unfortunately, which is really sad. I was really excited to see a red panda for the first time, but oh well, let's go and find other pandas. <laughs> we saw from a distance while watching that panda, another panda in another enclosure climbing up a tree. So we're gonna go run over there real quick and see if we can catch them still in the tree. And as you can see, pandas doing anything. It's a crowd. And look at them. So there are two pandas that are just chilling, sleeping up there. 
just lounging in the tree. <laughs> we are at the giant panda enclosure and there's three pandas and they're just playing on this branch. So adorable. <laughs> they just keep climbing up on the branch and then they push each other off and then they fall off as they're trying to push the other person. We have watched the pandas eat, we have watched the pandas play, and now we can watch the pandas sleep. We do have to keep our voices down while they're sleeping, uh, but that's pretty much the three main things that you'll be able to see the pandas do while you're busy. We just learned that pandas under a year old are called yearlings, and it takes about a hundred days before they are able to walk on their own feet. We just made it to the yearling pandas, and they are so tiny. Like imagine a, like a puppy. You have someone in there right there. In the, She's trying, trying to, to play with it. Look at <laughs> Carrying the panda. <laughs> oh, look at that one. <laughs> you just want to do it. You want the little buddies in the corner. Oh, he's climbing, climbing the tree. He's doing it. I think this has probably been one of our favorite spots right so far. These are the yearling, the baby pandas basically, and they're all out and they're playing with each other and they're super active uh, compared to the giant pandas which were all just either eating or kind of sleeping now. They're all still up and just running around, climbing. It's super adorable to watch. So within the enclosure there is a lady that is just kind of making sure they don't fall and hurt themselves and ch they're chasing her. And I think she's just like being there to help them. Maybe, ad I don't know how it's adapt helping them adapt or anything, but they just have to play with them. <laughs> She get, like if they get too close to each other, she just picks them up and like drags them. Oh, it's so cute. Right next to the baby panda enclosure, there are two giant pandas and these pandas are huge. You can see one in the tree right there and then there's one walking up uh, in this one. But they're so much bigger compared to the yearling. So each of the giant pandas have their own like enclosure so they're all boarded off by these like cement rainforest plant things <laughs> and all of the giant pandas are sleeping on their wooden platforms. I guess it's sleepy time now. That one's sleeping, that one's sleeping, that one's kind of been awake. To me, they look like exactly like those big plush stuffed animals that you would like get for someone on Valentine's Day. Like the ones that you could just like sit into. Like they, they look exactly like those. They make you want to just, I just want to like want to cuddle them even though it says on the sign that animals are very dangerous. I don't know how, like I don't think they move fast though. <laughs> like how are they dangerous? <laughs> All the encounters you have, the nameplates and like little description about like what the panda enjoys doing like, uh, when Lil is mild and endocentric and Yayuan is very round head, not active. She likes to clean herself and always cleans her head and face. It's so cute to give them a little personality. Like they do make them a pet rather than like it feels actually getting them ready to go back into the wild. It's more like pet wise. 
It's just this random peacock in this panda enclosure. The panda's sleeping up there behind that tree and there's the peacock. I wonder if they're buddies. It looks like they brought the baby pandas inside. I'm guessing that's where everyone's going to now. I guess it's their playtime or nap time. Maybe nap time. It's their nap time. They are sleeping together. Ella. So the giant pandas are actually still endangered. And they're endangered mostly because of deforestation and because of the lonely nature of the giant panda. So this research and breeding facility was set up to help repopulate the pandas and eventually release them back out into the wild. They also allow tourism to educate tourists about the lifestyle of the giant panda and of course to see all of these wonderful pandas uh, in their habitat. <laughs> we are off to the second giant panda enclosure and this place is huge. We've been here since nine o'clock in the morning and it's about noon now. Mm -hmm. We still haven't seen all the pandas. It's crazy to think they say there's only like 20 pandas here but I feel like I've I guess we haven't seen more than 10 have we? No. There are a lot of baby pandas, which yeah. were adorable. <laughs> There's six of them? Yeah. They're so cute. They were so small. And they were all sleeping on top of each other. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> there is a bus system that you can take. Of course, Kelly and I are cheap and walking. And the park is getting more and more full. It's recommended to come visit the park between uh, 7 30 which is right when they open and 10 because that is when they feed the pandas and all of the giant pandas will be the most active then and there'll also be less people so like you can tell and see there's a lot more people over the park is pretty big so we haven't been around them too much but during like the baby pandas it was crowded a lot of people and everyone wants to see them but i think now since it's after their feeding time i think they're just going to be sleeping a lot <laughs> oh, he's taking a major dump. These people are watching the panda. Taking dump. <laughs> Trying to say hi to the other panda. Gonna make you all over. You can tell just how lazy these pandas are because they'll take like five steps and then they just fall right back down to go back to sleep. Like this one climbed up and didn't even go anywhere else. It just fell right there. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nap here. So it's taken us about three hours just to walk around the part where all the pandas are. And looking at the map, it kind of seems that the whole rest of the park is just pavilions and gardens and you can go to restaurants, there's a cinema, a bunch of different things you can do. But we are going to actually make our way back to the exit because we want to rest and relax before we go on our food tour tonight. So make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can see our Moss Plate food tour. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>